Hello everybody and welcome to episode 126 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode we went golden stag hunting and uh, I got distracted a lot and we didn't end up catching it. In this episode we will go golden stag hunting and I will not get distracted. Today's birthday is Caroline the squirrel. Cute. Let's start. Yeah! Anyway, yeah, I'm ready for the golden stag. Supposed rarest bug in the game. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello there, everyone! Okay, here is Isabel. The, one of the, um... People that the golden stag hurt, and the reason I'm going after the golden stag is because he hurt a lot of people. Just kidding, I want to donate him! Anyway. Right now in Jacktown, it's 5.55 p.m. on Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. My ear itches for some reason. Not anymore, because I scratched it. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh, did anyone else see that talk show yesterday on TV? You know the one. <sighs> Isabel, just, if you have nothing to say, then don't say anything. I like watching for the guests, but the hosts are such chatterboxes. They're always rambling on, 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 Reminds, on. reminds me of someone. Oh, dear. Here I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Okay. Let's do business. Okay, so yeah, I have some leaves in my yard, and the reason is because if you're not uh, if you're not caught up, uh. Um, I'm trying to get every model. Oh, uh, sorry, assistant just coughed there. Anyway, um. Yeah, same thing, same thing. Anyway, um. Okay, let, let, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, I'm trying to uh. I'm trying to get every model from Flix last C day, and uh, so I get uh. Assistant and mom to uh get me extra models. I, I mean, I leave out rare bugs and fish whenever I caught them, catch them, so uh, when CJ slash Flick does come, I can have uh, mom slash assistant get me extra models. Yesterday, CJ came, so yeah, I had, uh, fl uh, I had assistant and mom get uh, some models, and the two ones that I got from them this time is the Arowana model, My pockets are full. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. We're going to have to do that. Right. Um. Okay, uh, this is a little, uh. Oh, hello, Peaches. First, I need to see what Peaches is talking about, thinking about. Can we talk, Spud? I've been thinking maybe I should move. No. Don't you dare move. Why do. Don't leave. You're sweet, Spud. I was secretly hoping that you'd try to talk me out of moving away. Bugman, thanks for caring. Okay. She's not moving away. Mission accomplished. Anyway, um... Oh, so these trees aren't growing. I don't know why. You know what? Off screen, I'm going to have to do something about that. Because I need... Because I really want my uh, pears and cherries to grow in. If you're not caught up, uh, um, I just recently for I just recently went to somebody else's island that has that had pears and cherries. So yeah, now I have every fruit growing on my island, but the pears and cherries so don't seem to be growing. Yeah. Anyway, nothing interesting to buy at the store, but... 
Uh, I want to sell stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff. Anyway, so, uh, um, how about Dorado? Not this guy, because I'm saving him up for a uh, model. Octopus, uh, blah, blah, blah. Just all this stuff that no one needs. Okay, is that everything? Uh... Yeah, I'm saving up my Gigas Giant Clams just in case they do eventually, can eventually be turned into models. Whoa, 30,000 bells. Sold. sold a rama So yeah, if I would have sold the, this, these three, I would got have gotten a lot more money, but I'm saving them for models, so I can't do that. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of space in my inventory now. Well, at least more than, uh, more than before. Anyway. Now let's see what our uh, Beecher and Arowana model look like. Wait, did I say that the other model was a Beecher? I don't know. The Saddled Beecher? That's, that's what the other model was. Anyway. Here they are. Oh, no, I picked up my mailbox. What? Ugh. So annoying. Anyway, yeah. That's my mailbox back. Anyway, arowana model. Wow, so cool. It looks like an arowana. <laughs> and a uh, saddle bee shear model. Wow, so cool. It looks like a saddle bee shear. Anyway, now uh, let's open the one that I got. Ooh, but first let's read this thing from Gonzo. Uh, I can imagine Gonzo just reading this aloud. Gonzo? Uh, help me out, chum. Now what I don't get, trying on your own clothes in the mirror. You bought them, so you already know what they look like. Just throw on whatever and start your day. Yeah, I'm not exactly a fashion guru. Confidently, Gonzo. Okay, and we also have the thing from CJ. I'm skipping this because I don't want... I want it to be a big surprise. And the thing I got is a... Arapaima model! Look at that! That is just fantabulous. Anyway, uh, let's go inside and drop off some stuff, some other stuff. Anyway, hopefully we can catch our uh, golden stag today. Anyway, golden nugget. Steampunk glasses, spinoscope. Just, just for now, all this stuff is going in storage. I, I might have a use for it in the future. I'm not putting the poo in because that's a special poo that uh, uh, um, Goose gave me. So I don't want it to get mixed up with the other poos. Yeah, Goose gave me a fossil, and he said he didn't know what it. Like he was, it said it was like confusing him, but then I opened it up and it was a poo fossil. So yeah. Anyway, let's check for our special character. Hopefully it's the new Gulliver. Right, I'm gonna check the beaches first, just in case it's the new Gulliver. Oh, I really hope it's the new Gulliver. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <gasps> well, look what the catfish dragged in! It's the new Gulliver! It's Pirate Gulliver! Gulliver! We finally got him! Uh, I don't want to get up, Ma. Let me sail the seven Z's. <laughs> Sail the seven, seven seas. Our storms are coming. Brace yourselves, mateys. It says Gulliver, but it's Gullivar. That's that's what the new Gulliver. <clears throat> Maybe he's gonna explain that he has a new name while I'm doing this. I mean, after. Patting down the batches, or is it patting down the hatches? <sighs> Arr, I don't care if it's me turn to man the helm. Me nap time is me nap time. Arr, 
Wouldn't you call that a C bass? I give it a C minus at best. Arr, yum, yum, yum. Well, I would give every single C bass a C minus. Raise the mainsail. Ready the yard sail. Anyone seen the mizzen mast? Ours. Just wake up! Uh, yes! I got him to wake up by screaming, wake up! Arr, this buffet may be the end of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet. Who asked, where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do ye even know who ye be messing with? I be Captain Gullivar, legendary pirate! Feared for all manner of dreadful gull duggery. Arr. Now, where's the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? So it is, um, a different character. I thought it was just him in a different costume. Arr, ye don't look very cruel. I suppose ye did me a favor. I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Aye, ye saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. Begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion, are Oof, but I do have a powerful ache in me noggin. I was partaking of a bit of the good soda with me crew, but I tumbled over to the prow and into the sea. Tis not but a mild inconvenience, though, for we be living in an age of gadgety miracles. I've got me a treasure that can summon a ship, day or night, sea or shore. Har! What could it be? So long as I've got me trusty old communicator, I'll be just. Uh... It's a communicator, which means it's a nook phone. Oh, me gosh! <laughs> me trusty communicator is gone and vanished. Arr! Those waves bopped me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping me pirate pun, so those are sure to run out fast. <laughs> sure. Ahoy, you with the whale-sized noggin. Will you help a stranded seabird find his lost communicator? Wh whale size nog. What is with these birds and their calling me nog my noggin big? Whatever. Sure, I'll look for it. Really? Why, you're even sweeter than the famous Captain Syrup, but without her double crossing, I hope. Me gut says me communicator is in a nearby ocean. Me crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep lookout. Got to be on land for that, ye savvy? That means it's up to ye to swim about and find me communicator. I'm counting on ye, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before ye hunt, else you'll be plundering, blundering your plundering. Okay, I think I have some, yeah, I have a lot of space. So yeah, he has new items and new, uh, whatever you call it, new, uh, n yeah, new quest and new items. And he counts as a different character, so he, he could come, uh, uh, every week. Which means, I think he counts towards the golden shovel. He definitely counts towards getting the rusted parts. Which means we can get the golden shovel and the... Uh... Uh... Robot here a lot easier. Because they're counted as two different characters. Which means they could come in two consecutive weeks. Well, I guess Gulliver... Now with the new spawning rolls, I guess Gulliver could do that anyway. But still! Yeah, like this whole, this, the new update just added so much cool. I mean, it just added so many good things. Like the, like the diving creatures is good. 
and the fact that we can get the golden shovel and the robot hero so much faster is is really good too. I just like just imagine if you're lucky, you could get two Gullivers per week, which means yeah, it's probably gonna be like just like about a couple months to till I get uh, the robot hero and the whatever it's called. Oh, that's it! Look at that! Whoa, this is. I found a, the communicator. Now to bring it to that pirate. So yeah. So yeah. Now we. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get new a new pirate-themed item in the mail tomorrow, and uh, it's really good. And like those items are really good. Like people are charging so much for these items. Like they're willing to trade. Like people are willing to trade them. Like people like a hundred Nook Miles tickets for these thing for these items so yeah um hopefully we get a good one because people people like them and it's it's cool to have something that the community likes and plus they're I like them <laughs> hello Gullivar I have your uh, have you found it yet wow rude you don't need to interrupt me I was going to like do a whole song and dance number about how I got your communicator, but Go fine! Sing, dance! No, I don't want to do it! Here's a little secret. I was never going to do that. Like, I want to sound more rugged. I mean, I mean, I want to sound more rugged in front of a pirate, like not, like, being harsh and not giving them dance numbers. Yar! Yes, I do have it. I found it. Yar! Yar, that's it. That's me precious communicator. It's funny how, like, you can say, uh, yar, nar. That's, that's another new thing. And my hair is a little wet because I was just out in the rain. I thank you with all me heart, matey. With extra cherries on top, even. Now I can contact me faithful crew. <clears throat> Last ye lily livered sea dogs, tis I, your beloved captain, who makes things happen. Hmm. I had another bad spill, so you best change course and come pick me up. Here be me coordinates. Be quick about it, or I'll buckle your swashes for good, so says Captain Gullivar. Ar, winky face, said. <laughs> Ar, that ought to put some wind in their sails, and no mistake. He saved me life, that's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship you a fine reward soon. Expedited. Arr. So the last. Ah, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go. Arr. So yeah, hopefully he gives me a good item. Most of them are clothes, so yeah, we're probably going to get some clothes. If it is a clothes, if it is a piece of clothes, I do hope it's a hat, because last time I got a hat, like, I'm wearing the same hat that I got from Gulliver a long time ago. The reason I'm doing that is because after I put it on, just, I got so lucky, like, I just, I got, like, three gigas giant clams, and, like, basically, like, uh, like, a ton of other rare things. So yeah. Anyway. I think that this this hat's uh, luck has run out because I'm not seeing... Like... Lately the luck ha hasn't been as good. Hopefully it has enough luck to spawn me a, a golden stag. Oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully if Gullivar sends me a hat, it's lucky. Like a lucky pirate hat. That would look cool. I don't even know what I, what uh, the thing I'm wearing is though. And I got a schedule to keep, so I'm I, I'm not the I'm not the one to like uh, take it off, see what it's called, and put it back on again. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's boring. Let's look for golden stags. Let's look for bugs. That's not boring. Oh, that's not big. I thought I thought that was a big thing. Uh, 
Anyway. Hey, Galvar! It's so weird seeing him with those different clothes, with that different clothing, because, uh... Oh, I see my message bottle. Yeah, what I was trying to say is it's so weird seeing him with the different clothing because of, uh... You know, uh... Yeah, like... I think he was in the first... Like, I think he's been here since the first game. Just whatever. Sen since the first time he was here, he's been wearing that that clothing. Actually, no. He, he wore a space suit, so... He, he just never wore, wore that clothing. So it's weird seeing him with that clothing. Mantis shrimp. Oh, no. Poi oyster. I don't know why. Wait, why am I diving? Oh, cause I saw some bubbles and I, and I wanted it, <laughs> and I wanted the bubbles. Anyway, yeah, I should stop diving. I mean, like, um, <laughs> it's not like I, I need to dive or anything. Like, I've caught everything. Uh, for diving, I haven't, however, caught everything in the bug section. So. Yeah, that's why I'm looking for the golden stack, because that's one of the bugs I'm missing. That's one of three bugs that I'm missing. The other two are the scarab beetle and the giant stag. Look what I'm doing. I'm diving and fishing, but I'm not bugging. Like, I need to go bugging. <laughs> I, I shouldn't just sit around and you know just do useless things well not useless but like things i don't need to do in this episode anyway i do need to uh drop off these bugs for extra space at my uh cj and flick stash and i just have like what what i'm gonna do with all the models for af after i um I don't think I've explained this, but... Well, I know I've explained one of these things. Uh, after I... Like... What I'm gonna do with all the models once I've gotten them... Is I'm gonna put... I'm gonna get an... I'm gonna get myself an... Uh, another extra character. Just... Uh, just to be a museum for all my models. So, yeah. I just... And I had an idea a, a little while ago that... That character could take my entire fl flick slash CJ stash and then put it in its in his home storage. So yeah, that's um, a, a that's I think that's a good idea because it would definitely clear out some space. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, backyard lawn. I already know the DIY for a backyard lawn, so I don't need it. <laughs> Like, how could you craft a backyard lawn? I don't know. Like, why would you want to craft a... It's probably a flooring, but... Whatever. Okay, so yeah. It's uh, going to be a while until uh, we have a lot of... Like, as I said, I completed my diving collection, and it's going to be a while until we get a, a bunch of new uh, diving creatures to collect. Because, um, uh, well, you see, the next month, uh, they only add one thing. In August, they only add one thing. And in September, they uh, add five things. So, yeah. It's going to be a while until we... Yeah, then in October they add like two things. Like it's easy to count all of the things. Like we're only we have like twenty four things in our diving collection, and it's just the first month. Yeah, we already have more than half of the creatures. So yeah, it's e like it's easy to say how many are in a month because they have to kind of like tone it down for the rest of the year. I'm not, I'm not seeming to find any cool bugs. Like, I'm finding uh, a lot, I'm finding bugs, but I'm not finding any of the cool ones at all. 
which is logical because, um, I mean, the cool bugs are cool, which means, uh, uh they're rare. Of course the cool bugs are cool. Sometimes I confuse myself with my wording. Wait. Oh, that's. I thought. I thought there were two barrel eyes in that little collection, but no, only one. Towards the model. Wait. No. And this golden stag is so rare. And I'm not even getting distracted this time, and I'm still not finding it. <laughs> yeah, I think this golden stag is rarer than the cicada shell and the giraffe stag. Contrary to popular beliefs. To beliefs. To popular beliefs. Not popular believes. Wait, I gotta catch that big fish. Okay. I was a little late on the... Wait a second. Is there a delay? My fishing rod broke. Is there a delay? Wait. I think there's a little delay. Wait, let's see. If I stop, will it stop immediately? Yes. Yeah. I don't think there is a delay. I think I was just late on the reaction. Sorry, I'm not talking that much. I just don't know if that would there's to if there's anything really to talk about. I mean, like, I'm just looking for this bug, and that's it. Yeah. So yeah. Sorry. Anyway, there's a my amistad. My Well, we're closer to getting uh, that golden stag. I mean, we found some stags. And I guess that's closer to a golden stag, even though it's not um, a golden stag. Um, and there is a uh, horn dynastid that I do not care about one bit. I, I did, like, isn't it so weird how, like, some bugs that are common, like, are, like, so cool when you catch them first. But then after that, they are so annoying. That's what I feel about, about these, some of these, uh, beetles, you know. They're cool at first, because they're big, but, well, kind of, like, sort of big, but then they're just annoying. Anyway, there's a balloon that is not annoying. You know what? Never mind. This balloon is annoying. Pet bed? A pet bed? Oh, what do you know? It's a pet bag. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, so that's a new item that we've never gotten before. So it's it's better than getting an like a duplicate item. 
but still, I wish there was a golden stag in there. <laughs> Just kidding, I knew there's never not gonna be a golden stag in there. Oh no, what do I do? I guess I'll have to use this. No, I'm pretty sure that's very worn. I guess I'll have to, to make, um, you know what, never mind, I'm using that fishing rod. It's not too worn, and I don't want to miss out on that fish. Okay, it's still there. It's close to the pier, so it could be a pier fish. I don't know, might not be that as close to the pier as I thought. Okay, what are you? Sea bass. Please don't say that my fishing rod broke. Yes. Good. My fishing rod did not break. Great, because this, this fishing rod's been here for a long time, and it would be sad to see if it broke, because I wanted to catch a sea bass. Well, yeah. well I didn't want to catch a sea bass. I meant, like, uh, because I wanted to catch a fish that ended up being a sea bass. Wait, is that a lot of bubbles out there? Face cam off. Yes, that is a lot of bubbles. I'm going in. Is this a rare thing? Oh. Yes, it's a scallop. Otter bro. Otter bro. Yeah. So, yeah. We, we got the otter bro. So uh, now we get another piece of mermaid stuff. Just sure, take it. Okay, hopefully, like hopefully we get a really cool mermaid thing. You know. Since you were cool, I left you something. New I hope it's not a pearl, cause like I have like too many pearls for the amount of DIYs I get. While well, I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep guy. Feel this. Holes are like mountains made of nothing. That's it. Still taking a picture. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. Wow, like that is like really weird thing. Wait, oh that. Oh wait, that's a shark. That's a shark. And I have a Nook Miles achievement, but uh, I guess Nook Miles achievement comes first. Clyde to sleep. Oh, for selling stuff. And I also need to catch a, um, uh, angelfish. Wait, do I have something else? Oh! That's my tenth otter encounter. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, check what did he give me. Oh, wait, it's a shirt! Mermaid princess dress. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, I guess I'll wear that for the rest of the episode if when I, oh, right, I don't have a fishing pole. I don't have a pulley. I don't have a Napoleon fish. Oh, that's, that's, that's a little, that, like, I noticed how funny those, how good those words go together. Napoleon fish, fishing pole. Wait, does this go fast? I just gotta catch this. Wait, I'm getting so distracted from the shark. Sorry, you had to catch it just in case it was rare. Like, there's so much going on. I'll wear the princess dress after I finish catching this shark. Hopefully, it's not a sucker fish, because if it's a sucker fish and I break this fishing rod that's been with me for so long, I will get very uh, angry. Yeah, that was a rare thing. I mean, look at look at how small that reaction time was. Yeah, so yeah, missed out on a rare thing. Whatever. Like with that little reaction time, that was probably a great white shark, which I was which is too bad because I was only missing one more before I got a uh, model. Anyway, mermaid princess dress. I'm removing the wetsuit. 
Oh, right, I forgot I had that on. <laughs> Mermaid Princess Dress. I don't know how I feel about... Oh, look at how I walk. Oh, it looks so weird. <laughs> it looks so weird on me. But I guess, like... Yeah, yeah, so he can give you one of three things. He can either give you... Um, DIY, Pearl, or a piece of clothing that is not a DIY. We, this is our first piece of clothing. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that looks so weird, vaulting across the river in a dress. What was that? Oh, never mind. I, I just remember that cicadas are a thing in, in the game right now. I thought like a... Like it was a it was a cicada that looked kind of golden, so I was worried that it was a like a, a golden bug or a golden stag. Anyway, come on, Goldie. Oh, I thought Gulliver's beak was a a stag. Come on. All right. Where are you? I must find you, Mr. Goldie Stag. Goldie Stag, where are you? I am coming for you, Goldie Stag. Oh, hello, Nate. Just sitting, just sitting there. Okay, let's make the weirdest picture ever. Yeah, that's weird. Scuba diving princess and sitting bear unite. Yeah. Oh, scuba diving princess. Yeah, like, that needs to be somebody's nickname. I don't, wait, no. <laughs> hmm. Open your mouth, Mr. Triceratops. I don't know why, but you should. Anyway. Wait, oh no, I just got tricked by the surfboard. I thought it was a stag. Again. I thought something else was a stag. Oh, the sound of this evening cicada makes me sleepy, you know? Wait, that's a Miami stag! Wrong stag, I tell you. Gulliver! Hey, where is... Come on, Golden Stag, work with me, dude. Work with me. Play. Pretty play. With a pretty cherry on top. Play. And. Yeah, I'm gonna stop whining and start finding beetles. The beetles that I need. Whoa, that's a horned atlas, not a beetle that I need, but it's still a rare beetle. So you know what? I'm going to catch it. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I said, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. Oh, 
there are cicadas yeah, in real life and even through the door. Like even we have a shut door in our house and it's still they're still making crazy amounts of sound. Anyway, horned atlas. A place of that there. Wait, that's a horned atlas, and that is a horned atlas, so that's two horned atlases. And are there, is there one more? Yes, that's another horned atlas. We have three horned atlas, that is enough for a horned atlas model. May, may be coming soon to the next flick installment. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the uh, left beach one more time. No dice, fine, fine. No, no, no. There's no golden stag here. Whatever, I don't even care. I don't even want a golden stag. You know what? I don't even want one. Uh, uh. Anyway. There was one thing I wanted to do, and that is um, get some things from my outdoor aquarium area, because there's another addition that I kind of wanted to make, and it involves a fish and a pouchette. Come on, well, get to the fish section. Section. Okay, which fish for the pouch with the pouchette? Should I choose? Which one? Which one? How about the bitterling? Like the bitterling was is such a small was such a small part of the series. I mean like we um like it was only in March. And it's not gonna come back until December, so yeah. Let, let's give the bitterling some love by putting it in my uh, outdoor aquarium area. Excuse me, Clyde. Anyway. So, there are some pouchettes here, but I also thought it would, might be a good idea to put some pouchettes in these little places. Buggy. Little pouchettes, I said little pouchettes in these little places. There. Anyway. You might be thinking, but you only grabbed one, how can you? How can you put them on both sides if you only grabbed one? Well, I already had one in my inventory. Like, I had this muscle in my... Like, I think I... Like, uh... Me and my friend, when we went out... When we did that play day, uh... Um, like, we went diving a little. And I got this from his island. So, yeah, this is a, this is a souvenir from his island. So, it should be in outdoor aquarium. It's, it may not be, like, an extraordinary catch. Just a muscle. But it is a souvenir so I'm putting it in the outdoor aquarium even though you can't see it that well because there are a lot of trees oh right I need to find my villager crafting I still need to do that Nate is it you oh right I forgot to explain another thing about the play date like when I visited the, the other person's island he had Nate too and, <laughs> like, when somebody, when two people have the same villager, the villager just acts like, act, acts like he never met you. 
So he was like, oh, yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Yeah, this island is the best island ever. And I thought, and I said, like, nay, I feel utterly betrayed. Because, like, he was talking about how great his island was. And, whoa, this is the best <laughs> island ever. And I was like, Nate? Yeah, and, uh, this didn't happen, but if, uh, uh, when, when the other person was visiting my island, he talked to my Nate, he would have said the same thing. Like, oh, this island is the best! <laughs> Down Down is the best! Yeah, I'm not, like, uh, if any of you, you are confused, I'm not gonna, I, I did a play date off screen, and I'm not gonna say the name of the person, just in case he doesn't want his name on YouTube. Anyway, let's talk to Freckles. Okay, you're super hey, jelly. I'm super jelly right now. I heard everybody's calling you Professor Pie these days. Is it okay with you or whatever? Can I call you that too? Of course. For real? Thanks. Then it's a done deal. I'm Tate's calling you Professor Pie from now on. I forgot about that. I forgot that people are calling me Professor Pie now. Anyway. Let's see, Gonzo, hopefully it's him that's crafting. Oh, and like, uh, I found out that you can get like a golden dung beetle model. And a golden arowana model. So, if I got a golden arowana model and... It's not Gonzo. Anyway. If I got a golden arowana model and a normal arowana model in the same day, that would be amazing. But of course, I wouldn't put the golden one in the museum. I mean, not in the museum. I mean, I wouldn't put uh, the golden one in uh yes the museum the museum extra house thing um yeah i'm not gonna put it i would not put it in there i'd like make a big vault to put it in or something like that or like put it on display somewhere Sorry, i'm in the middle of something right now what are you up to i'm currently crafting a terrarium just to see how i do at it Ooh. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed Is this with something it. that you could, like, put your bugs in, and then they'd, uh, all be in the same terrarium? Yeah. Do we want to learn how to make sure. a terrarium? Sure! Yes! All right. I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Yes! This could be amazing. It's probably not, but to try when you have the time and materials. Fish party. It's sti it still could be. And it could be an opportunity for something cool. If it's not, if it's just like a normal terrarium then that's okay. Yep, it's a normal terrarium. With a plant in it. I mean, that's nice, but I was kind of hoping I could put all my bugs in like a big tank together like I could have a scorpion and a tarantula in the same tank like that is a missed opportunity I wish like you could put like bugs in like the same tank even if it's like getting down to you could only have like five in there or something like that or like even two that would still be amazing I would love a pool with a great white shark and a whale shark. Or a great white shark and a... Um... Or I'd love, like, um... Uh... An oarfish and a, like... An anchovy to see, like, the oarfish... Like, so to me... Like, maybe it could be, like... Like... Like, the bigger the fish... The bigger the uh, tank gets, so I'd love to see like a like add this big fish and a tiny fish, and just see this tiny little fish like swimming around. Anyway, I like to end the episodes in the museum because it's just nice and relaxing. All oh, right, like I said that um, a long time ago, like after like the day after um, I. Okay, I'm ending it in the fossil exhibit in front of the Parasaurolophus torso. And just in front of the full, full Parasaurolophus. So here's the jig. Spoiler alert. In episode uh, 114, I finished my fossil exhibit. and But that was also uh, the episode where I got my first diving creature. 
like there was the episode where I did diving for the first time, so I wanted to end it in, in the end it in the uh, uh, fish exhibit with the diving creatures. And I said in the in the episode after that I would end it in the fossil exhibit to make up for that. I never ended up doing that, so yeah, I'm doing it now. Anyway, there is our complete Parasaurolophus. And I had our complete fossil exhibit. Ah, uh, so nice. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to look for... Well, we're going to get our new uh, Galvar item. Oh, right! There's something I totally forgot to do. Wait, one second. I forgot to check... Uh, I love you. It's not, it's not nothing new. Not No new song there. Sorry, I forgot to check the new song for the day. And I don't feel right ending it in this dress. Put back the... This. Oh, I guess the dress is under the wetsuit now. That must feel really uncomfortable. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we will get our Gullivar item. And we will also look for the Golden Sagmore. Yeah, I think we're going to look for the Golden Sagmore. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I wasn't sure that we were going to do it. But you know what? We are going to look for the Golden Sag in the next episode. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome. I don't think I've done an impression in a while. How about I do a fossil impression? Perfect. <laughs>